you're gonna walk me through your no fail excellent grilled cheese recipe yes yes all right so bread of choice i just have plain white i'm gonna use semolina you use the plain white i believe grilled cheese is beyond white bread i don't know it's a southern in me i know i like white bread too so open it up okay and then now what you want to do, you're going to pick your cheeses, whatever cheeses, what cheeses do you like? Okay, well right now, because it's hard to find cheese, you know, it's grocery store situation is, it's not great. I have this local sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to use cheddar, which I, I have cheddar as well. And then I grated it. And then I also have some Havarti and I have some Swiss. If you have like a pesto or herbs and you want to throw in there and get fancy, you can oh, do wow. that. Okay. Yes. So then we just put your cheese on the bread. Okay. And you want to make sure that it's not so, so thick that it's not going to melt. Right. Which is why you suggest shredding it. Okay. Which is what I should have done, but I have it thin. I think I got it kind of thin. I think I'm just gonna take some time and I'm just gonna you know, sprinkle some time on there. Why not? Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go get my time. You tell them, what is the number one tip for cooks who are starting out? How do you answer that? I'll be right back. Keep talking. So, to, to all you all for cooks starting out, I think the number one thing is to get to know your palate. A lot of times, young cooks are afraid to get food brown. They're also afraid about the seasoning. Oh my God, so what are you All using? Right, I got, I've got thyme, rosemary, and sage. Yes. Got, all right, so I just put a little of the thyme on there. Okay. Yep. Got it. And you push it together, just push it down. Got it, push down. So that's it. And so now what you're gonna do is take, so I have uh, my mayonnaise. So a lot of times people will use uh, butter in their pan. Yeah. The thing is, this is oil and egg yolk, so it's going to brown beautifully. Oh, wow. so, so I'm going to mix. Butter out thinking it's butter, but it's not butter. You use mayo. Okay. So I'm taking a little bit of the, I'm going to move up here. I'm taking a little bit of the mayo and right. the mustard, and I'm just going to mix it up. And the reason I'm using the mustard, now this is something new that I started doing. The reason that I'm using the mustard, that is my secret to the best macaroni and cheese that I, that I make what? in my soul food cookbook. Yes, because the mustard makes that sharp cheddar sing. Okay, so put a little mustard on the outside as well? Yeah, just a little bit. Mix it into your mayo. Yeah, a little light coating on both sides. But because you're going into a pan, you don't want your pan too hot. You want it sort of that medium because if your pan is too hot, that means your bread will burn before your cheese melts. So now, in your pan, mayo side down. Yep. Oh. Nice. And now you can take the other side and brush your oh. mayo on that other side. Great. Now, I am using the air fryer. Oh, wow. I got my mom an air fryer just at the start of all of this. She's not a big cook. She said it, it helped her so much through this. I have been putting things in there that probably shouldn't go in there. <laughs> okay, so you've got your air fryer. I've got my pan. Yep, so I'm going to go in there. Um, so, simple, simple. So, you're going to go on just a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of mustard. As that cooks so gently, you're going to flip it over. You're going to see this golden brown. It is going to be beautiful, and your bread is going to be crispy. So I flip it over. Is it time to be flipped? Oh, no. Mine is golden brown. Is the cheese melting? It is. Mmm. Tamron! <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love this. How long does it take in the air fryer? I put it on 390 in the air fryer, five minutes, and then I flip it over five minutes. So the thing about the air fryer, while you're looking at your bread, making sure it doesn't burn, I don't have to worry about that. I just okay. throw it in the air fryer and I go on about my business. Well, my grilled cheese is done. I'm Ooh. cutting it. Ooh, ooey, gooey. Okay, so here's mine. It tastes like butter, and there's no butter. It's crazy. 